It is a matchup in the junior welterweight division. Mario Barrios, who is from here in San Antonio, looking to make the hometown faithful proud of him and rise to their feet. But he has a very difficult challenge ahead of him as he takes on Yudi Bernardo. And let's take a look at our tale of the tape to break down the numbers. Bernardo, nine years older than Barrios, and Bernardo also has the reach advantage. That is our tale of the tape for this matchup between Mario Barrios and UD Bernardo. And now let's head up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from the Freeman Coliseum here in San Antonio, Texas, Premier Boxing Champions presents the Showtime Extreme featured bout of the evening brought to you by Ringstar Sports and TGB Promotions in association with Leha Bata Promotions and Showtime. Sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza, Masfina, and Casa Noble Tequila, the Noble Pursuit. Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside, all from the state of Texas, Ruben Carrion, Wilfredo Esperon, and Anthony Townsend. And introducing our referee in charge of the action, we have John Shorley. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing scheduled in a super lightweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks with blue and white trim. He is fighting out of Baytown, Texas, by way of the Dominican Republic. His weight, 139 and three quarter pounds. His record, 23 wins. Two losses with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Eudi Bernardo. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round special attraction, wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of and representing his home of San Antonio, Texas. He weighed in at 141 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign with 20 wins, no losses, 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the IBF number 10 ranked lightweight contender, introducing the undefeated Mario Golden Boy Barrios. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, John Shorley. Okay, guys, give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands to protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. John Shorley, our referee in charge. A matchup here in the super lightweight division. 140 pounds, certainly extremely compelling with the way that it is so open, but there's so much talent. Mario Barrios. Fighting before his hometown fans got a warm reception here at the Freeman Coliseum, taking on UD Bernardo. Bernardo now residing in Baytown, Texas, but originally from the Dominican Republic. Nadio Barrios coming off a win over Naeem Nelson. That was back on September 9th of last year, seventh round stoppage. He's been training with Virgil Hunter past few fights. Hunter not here, but there are those that work with Mario in the chat that's backed up for Mario. It was a stumble, but he may have gotten buzzed in. When we were talking to Virgil Hunter about Mario Barrios, he said that Barrios has all the capabilities of being a world champion and that he's certainly feeling into his body. Let us not forget that Barrios used to fight at 126 pounds, he leapfrogged two weight classes to start this new campaign at 140 and has done it in extremely smooth fashion. Very good boxing ability for Barrios as he matches with a straight right hand on Bernardo. Barrios, a four year pro. And this is the most defined that I've seen Mario Barrios. You can tell that he's really 
focusing on his strength and conditioning. And he's getting a lot sharper. I mean, he's always had very good boxing ability with power. But his physique is certainly helping him in regards to landing those more crushing shots. 65 seconds remaining, round one. That's that broken body. Very sharp tonight. Remember, when it comes to Yuri Bernardo, two years ago he was wiped out by Mason Menard in a highlight reel knockout. That's typically what you can know Yuri Bernardo from, but he is a tough and durable guy to have to contend with. <laughs> Barrios, this is a one for opportunity for him to hit this platform on the world title bout. When it comes to Mikey Garcia and Sergey Lukanyets, he has his dreams of headlining his own cards here in his hometown of San Antonio. Final moments of round one. As Bernardo comes forward, he gets back. Inside by Barrios. That's the end of the first. And here is the jab that staggered Bernardo. It was bang right there on the chin. And he literally, that was not a stumble. He was staggered because of the jab. It was right on the chin. There's certain jabs, there are different kinds of jabs. There's the jab that'll just kind of pester you a little bit. There's a, a powerful jab, and there's the jab that is trying to keep you off balance. That was a strong jab by Mario Barrios. As the fans filing in here, they bring him down the same. You see Ronaldo. Usted se radica la guardia y siga moviendo y tirando los contragolpes, papi. Y tocándolo con el uno, tocándolo con el uno, no deje bien cerradita su guardia. Don't just focus on one shot, get close. Round two scheduled for ten. Adios. In that first round, I thought with ease. And Bernardo has a high guard in Barrios looking for that opening. We oh, ask Barrios, he's fought here in the big right hand. That drops Bernardo. Oh, my goodness, more sledgehammer. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mario Barrios is finding his stride. And that is a dangerous super lightweight who is moving up the ranks in quick fashion. He embraces with his family, and my goodness, did he put out Yuri Bernardo. That was spectacular. And Barrios certainly made Bernardo pay as he came forward. A second round highlight reel knockout by the young man that they call El Nino de Oro. They see Bob Santos there has been with Barrios from the very beginning. I know Virgil Hunter is back home in the Bay Area and is smiling. Let's take a look at how Wayne Dot. Bang, right there, right on the chin. Boom. Head smacks off the canvas. And John Shorley wisely. And you could just tell Bernardo was out of it. Still counting, and he gets up based on instinct, but his legs were gone. And John Shorley saw that and said, no. Nope. He reached the count of eight, and he was not. And here's another angle. The jab comes out, and Barrios threw like a left hook to a throwaway punch. Boom! Right there on the kisser of Bernardo. And then he literally tumbled over immediately. Wow. That could be a candidate.
for knockout of the year again. Here we see it again as we zero in on it. The jab, it was like a throwaway left hook, and then boom, right there. Clean shot, all the leverage. Barrios knew he had him, and he watches him stumble and crash to the canvas. He knew he had him, and that is a sweet, Hometown victory for San Antonio's own Mario Barrios. And talk about 140. Well, that young man made a statement tonight and is becoming more a player in the upper echelon of the super lightweight division. Barrios, delighted, put out. And here's your and gentlemen, we have the time of 45 seconds in round number two. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. Mario Gold.